Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another ramble session. I hope y'all are doing well. First week of January, done and dusted. Oh my goodness, before we know it, we're gonna be celebrating Christmas again. <laughs> Anywho, I've been going nuts this morning, which is not uncommon at all. Um, yesterday, my husband and I went out, I'm just like looking around my room. My husband and I went out, we had to go down south because he had to go see the um, THC doctor. We'll just put it that way. And um, yeah, so we made kind of like a morning of it, you know, and we stopped off for a very healthy Wendy's breakfast sandwich and I saved the bag. And then um, we went down to this the worldwide sportsman because he had a gift card from last year so we went ahead down there which is a ways down in the in the florida keys and so we did that and we got my um we got our son some birthday gifts while we were there and my husband got me one of these shirts it's like a wicking shirt you know like we call them fishing shirts but i'm gonna use them when i start walking again so I saved that and I put it right here and I could have sworn I put the other business cards because I had a business card from where else did we go to? Oh, from this place. I had a business card from this place. I had um, the Wendy's bag, you know, part of the Wendy's bag. And I had, Oh, I had found in the car uh, a menu that we had gotten from when we went up north. And so I wanted to keep that. And guys, legit, I cannot find any of it but that. You know, let me just check my garbage can here. And, and they're not in there. I know they're not, but, or the check. But, oh my gosh. Ugh. Is that not so annoying? I mean, does that happen to everybody or just me? Like, I know I put them in here and like this is my journal for this year or for January, February, March, however long it takes. I know I've told you before um, in other ramble sessions that this is how I'm going to be doing my journaling. Um, you know, if I get to pages, I get to pages and if I don't, I don't and it's not that big of a deal and all that jazz, right? So... One of the things I did want to put on here is this little thing here. So this is going to kind of be like a ramble session journal with me, kind of stick stuff in my book kind of day as I'm going insane trying to figure out what I did with that other stuff that I wanted to put on my page for yesterday. Oh my gosh. And it's so annoying because I don't normally you know, go out all that much. I mean, I go to work and I come home, you know what I'm saying? So I was so excited to have that Wendy's bag. <laughs> it's not even funny. And now I have no Wendy's bag. And now I will never know that I went to Wendy's yesterday. Tragic, I know. Oh gosh, I'm such a dunce sometimes. Like I don't, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it and my room is not all that messy, can I just tell you, okay? So here, we're just gonna put this right here. I don't know if I'll put something up there at some point, but goodness knows, I better glue it down now before it gets lost on my desk somewhere. Oh my gosh. Yeah, does that happen to you? Acquiring minds wanna know, does it happen to you? Do you put stuff on your desk? Do you, you know? Normally, what I do is I, you know, like clip it to a page in my book or something. And oh, maybe I want this askew. Um, yeah, I, normally I like I'll clip it to the page in the book. And, you know, so that I know it's there, obviously. And I just turn to the page and I do up the page. So I, I don't know what I was thinking. Ugh. anyway. So, back to the journal. Um, I had told you over, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I don't know when it was, that as far as journaling goes for this year, um, 
I, I didn't know how it was going to look. I still don't know how it's going to look. It's going to look however it looks, right? Um, this year I decided to use these moleskins. They're extra large. I'll put the link in below. Um, my daughter got them for me a couple years ago and they came in a pack of six and we got them like at a retail store. Um, you can get them in a pack of three on Amazon. And again, these are the extra large. They're like, I don't know, seven and a half because I can't find my ruler either. They're like seven and a half by nine and a half, something like that. They're fairly large, which I have been enjoying. The paper in this one is lined and you can get them blank and you can get them dot grid as well. So let's see. I just wanted to go ahead and let you know how things have been going. Now, if you'll notice this paper, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can. It um, shadows, you know, um, and some bleed through. Some bleed through. Now, those are from these dot pens, which I love to use. They're a lot of fun. Clean color dot. Um, see, I put them up in here and they bled through a little bit. I don't care. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. The other thing that I use a lot of as well are these Dabo inks. You know, I to like tell you every video. I'll put the link below. They are fun, fabulous um, little doohickey things. They're daubers. I guess they're for bingo or whatever but now uh, like I don't know a big thing now for especially little kids is like dot art you know so and they come in an array of colors you know and they're just so bright and vivid and again this is my alternative to the um the Tim Holtz ones that he no longer sells these distress stains you know so I use these a lot and they kind of shadow over here. You can see that they shadow because I use them in the background here. I don't care. I don't care. So, um, yeah. The other thing about my journaling is that um, I did not count out the pages. I'm sure on the, on the website you can find, like, how many pages it is. I don't know. Could be 120, something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I'm just going to go until I can't go any longer and then I'll start a new book. So that's how that's going to go. Um, yeah, no, no real plan except that as you can see here, I'm doing, you know, again, the flat journaling where there's not a whole lot of, um, that needs to be glued, not a whole lot of, uh, you know, tucks, tags and pockets and all of that jazz which I do love, but I frankly don't have time to do that. Now, here's the other thing too that I've been doing is all of this stuff on here is on my desk somewhere, okay? So that's kind of like a little challenge I've set for myself. I have just this pile of stuff right here. That's it, just this pile of stuff. And that's pretty much what I've been using, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Again, oh, these are Echo Line brush pens. This is Echo Line brush pen. But anyway, some flowers that my husband bought me. I always save these little things and put them in. Um, little bits of Happy Mail, again, from this pile, right? So that's how I've been doing it. If it's in the pile, it goes in the book somehow. I don't care if it matches. I don't care if it goes. Don't care gonna stick it in there because that is the easiest way for me so far to get rid of my stuff not get rid of it that's like that's a negative connotation right there um it is my way of using up the stuff that I have right um but I did have to print these out right so <laughs> these are so funny what's your sassy lady quote if it weren't for sarcasm, how would I express myself in a non-threatening manner? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, that is so me. So, um, yeah, that is going to go on. I saw this yesterday and I just happened to pop onto Facebook. Um, I do not use Facebook as much as I used to. In fact, I don't use it at all, hardly. Obviously, I used it yesterday when I went on here when I went on there. I don't know. I might have been looking for something specific My daughter's so funny speaking about 
um, whatchamacallit, Facebook. Oh my goodness. She sent me this text yesterday. She says, this, um, this page is so wholesome or something like that. And it, she joined the page of the community that my husband and I are going to be living in. Right <laughs> now you have to understand. I mean, like literally my husband and I are the youngest old people there. Okay. You get my drift, right? It, it's not a 55 and older community. Um, but it's, you know, yeah, it's like a lot of old people. I don't know what to tell you. You know, I'm old too, so it doesn't matter. I can say that. Um, but yeah. And so she, <laughs> I know like a couple, I don't know when it was like last week, she was like, I'm so glad that I joined this page and I don't regret it at all or something like that. Okay. So she joined this page, right? And now looky there, I just lost the stupid safety pin that was with that. Are you kidding me right now? My gosh, you guys, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. Let me just tell you. Um, and it's like super tiny and I'll probably never find it again. And it's probably with the menu and the other thing that I wanted to save anyway. Um, so it's this Facebook group, right? And one of the things like she sent me a snapshot of one of the posts or whatever. And it said like there were herbs. I don't know what herbs they were. I can't remember. It was like parsley and basil or something like that. And like the caption said, you know, um, parsley, extra parsley and basil at number, whatever, whatever their house number, what, like 350, right? At 350, if anyone needs any for their Sunday dinner, you know? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. So funny. I'm not a part of that group, but I might, I might become part of that group. But like I said, I don't use Facebook all that much. She doesn't either, but it's just funny. You know, she's this 25 year old on this. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know. It's just funny to me. So yeah. And if I had been up there, heck yeah, I would have gone and gotten some basil or parsley or whatever met some met some new people <laughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry yes I still have my cold okay can you believe it now what I'm doing here is I put a little bit of um, powder on um, these things because I did do the Allison treatment which is from AJ's inspired life she puts um, the Mod Podge glitter glitter on it and because I live again in, um, you know, I live in South Florida, so it's a tropical climate. It's very humid here, which I love. Um, but it makes the Mod Podge forever stay sticky. So um, in order to remedy that, I just take the baby powder and I, you know, zhuzh it on there. And so it makes it so that it's not, it won't be sticky in my book. So a little tip for you. Um, if you don't want to use baby powder because of the smell or whatever, um, the scent, then you could always use, what's it called? Um, you could always use like cornstarch or something like that. So all this stuff, ha I found this on Saturday. Okay, so this was my Thursday page. I came back negative, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Um, I went ahead and took another test because as you can tell by my voice, I am still ill. I feel okay-ish, right? Almost back to normal. However, um, I still like my head's really stuffy and all of that. So last week, was it last week? Yeah, this past week. Um, well, obviously I went on this day, I think to get tested anyhow. Um, because I had this like weird smell in my nose. It was really odd. When I got into my car, I was like, oh my goodness, like I wonder if my husband left food in here or something. Like it smelled really bad. And I was again having this, the second time I've had this now, um, this illness, whatever. And then like I couldn't taste up. It was just, it was the weirdest thing. And the same exact thing happened a month ago when I got sick as well, went and had the C test, came back negative, went back this time, came back negative. So I don't know what's going on. I guess I got the flu twice and I don't know. So 
but like I've literally been sick for a month, okay? Like I got sick around the beginning of December and yeah, I'm still fighting it. So it's very bizarre to me. Anyway, um, so this we went yesterday, which was super fun. Um, just a little day trip down to the Keys. We went by our old house and they are doing exactly what my husband was gonna do for me. They're closing in part of the carport downstairs. Um, for those of you who didn't know, we sold our places in the Keys and we then bought a place up about two and a half hours north of us to retire. And um, yeah, so anyway, we had to go down to the Keys for my husband's appointment and so we drove by the old houses and yeah, they, they're, you know, blocking in uh, the part of the downstairs, which my husband was going to do for me um, to make it into a craft room. Now it's not, it's like a legal room, but you can't, it's supposed to be just for storage or whatever because of like the elevation and the sea level and all that kind of jazz. It's like, you can't put it on your insurance policy. It's not covered, but anyway, so he was going to make me a craft room like that down there. And, um, but then we, we both, you know, talked about it later and we're like, eh, you know, I don't know if, I don't know if I really want to, um, retire there, you know, uh, anyway. So we had a very nice day together yesterday. I really want the Wendy's packaging because, you know, and the business cards too. So I don't know. I'm going to have to look around, search around. My desk isn't even all that messy. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I stuck it in here. No, because one of the menus was from a place up north. Yeah, so I don't. This is so very bizarre. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this goes on Saturday. Now this day, squeeze the day, I got this out because I want to somehow put this on this page for something. I don't know yet. Um, like maybe I'll use this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because on this day here, um, I had to, well, first my daughter, cause she's the sub, the substitute coordinator. And we've had so many people out at work. It's not even funny, like so many. And, um, so everyone's had to cover for everybody and blah, blah, blah. And so on this day, she texts me, could you do me a big favor? And I know whenever she says that she wants me elsewhere in the school. And so at first I was with the little two-year-olds, the beginners, they're so adorable, until I had to wipe two snotty noses and then the fun was over. Um, but anyway, they are adorable little little munchkins. And But then I got moved from there to middle school. Yay! Yeah, y'all know how much I love middle school. And um, so I was in there for a couple of hours. So I was like basically babysitting them. You know, they have all their work is, is well, all their work is mostly on the computer. So yeah, all I really have to do is just kind of sit there and watch over them, make sure that they're not playing Call of Duty. Oh my gosh. And it's like, or football, you know? And I mean, I'm like, li I am literally sitting right behind them. And I'm like, dude, get off the football, all right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's not part of your curriculum. <sighs> anyway, I mean, whatever. It's, you know, it's middle school, so what can you expect? Um, so that's what I love this paper here. So yeah, I wanna do something here about, and I'm probably gonna have to have more than this. Maybe, oh, maybe I'll, oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe I'll just make a little pocket. I'll just make a little bitty pocket because I love this paper. This came from, I believe, a calm book that my sweet my sweet friend Karen sent me. And um, yeah, maybe I'll just do that, make a little pocket and then make a couple of these and do my journaling on that. Of course, put some background color on there because that's what I like to do. And then who knows, put more more junk on the page. I don't know. So we'll see about that. And then as you knew, I think from last time, I've been using um, Sweet Lynn from Love Lynn's Life, her printables. So I've been using those for the dates and the days and all that jazz. And they've been a lot of fun. 
And I have been coming up. Um, oh, these right here. These are like address labels that I painted on my, I think I did jelly printing or something or dendritic printing. I don't even know, but these were done years ago. And so I'm just using them as decoration. I used them down here. Yep, using up some of my washi that I have, which y'all know I got rid of a whole ton of it. Um, and I could not feel better about that. Um, thank you guys also for supporting the, um, you know, the, whatchamacallit ones, the de-stashing videos and stuff. That's from Calm. So, like, this right here is all I've been using in my book, right? And this right here. Like, I'm trying to use this stuff. Oh, aside from that. Oh, well. Mostly, I'm using this stuff. And it's been nice, you know, because I have just a smaller pile to work with and I can, you know, just grab from that and, you know, throw it on the page and call it macaroni. Like, I'm not, I'm trying not to care about, you know, like if stuff goes, if it doesn't go, I mean, I guess subconsciously I make it go. I guess, like I have this paint chip on my desk and I have this from a lovely piece of Happy Mail. Yeah, and then this I just drew out my, you know, I, I actually had the the painting of the leaves or whatever in one of my, in my sketchbook, so I just um, doodled around it, cut it out, and stuck it in. So, yeah. So, that's how I've been doing my journaling, and it's been going rather well. I do need to come in here and do Friday, Saturday, and today's page. No, actually, today's page will be done tomorrow morning when I get up before I go to work. I still cannot believe I cannot find that dang thing. I, I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, so I do want to do more decluttering videos. Yes. And among those, I think, are going to be notepads, right? Um, and I don't know what all. I don't know what all. And, oh, also, like, I have um, a bunch of these drawers, right? These Sterilite drawers. And a lot of them are empty. So, I think I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. About 14, well, 15. Let's see, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I have, like, 17, right, drawers well, 16 maybe, I don't know. Anyway, quite a few that are empty. And I think what I wanna do is, here's the other thing I have. I have a lot of these Rubbermaid, book, Rubbermaid books, Rubbermaid um, these things, right? Now, and they have, you know, like, a, you know, label on them, whatever. So I have, like, this is Baker's Twine, right? And what I want to do is take things out of these shoebox things and put them in the Sterilite drawers. Because up at the new place, um, my room is a lot smaller. And so I don't have room for all this stuff. And I think over in my closet, I have two, four, six, eight, ouch, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, so I have 16 of these. Um... So I'm going to switch them out, right? I'm going to switch them out because I think all I want in the new room would be the Sterilite drawers because I can stack those. I can stack these too, but drawers are easier, right? So for this, I think what I have in mind is I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to get some clothespins, right? Now, this is embroidery floss. Do I embroider? No, I do not. I use embroidery floss, however, to bind books. So this is how I store it, and I do store it in a cute little basket, right? Um, and I just wound, you know, I wound up all the embroidery floss, and then you stick the end into, you know, the end of that, right? The end of the clothespin, and then you can just use it as a spool type of thing, right? And then you just kind of, stick it back through there and it keeps it so that you know where the end is all the time. Okay, another little tip for you. 
So what I want to do is take all of this stuff because I don't think like rolls like this are not going to fit upright in those Sterilite bins. I'm pretty sure they're not going to. Nope. They're not going to. So I need something like this where I can just throw a bunch of these in there and it'll be nice and flat, right? And then I can have all of them in there. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that at some point. Stuff like this, this is like a tassel, right? Like super cute, you know, that I could use for some something. Maybe I'll take the beads off and keep the beads, right? But do I need these tassels? No, I do not. So I'm gonna be ruthless again. A lot of you have um, enjoyed my ruthlessness and I appreciate that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do next is like go through my these types of bins and I have like acrylic paint. I don't use acrylic paint that often and let's just face it, if I do ever need it again, I can go to Walmart and get them for like 50 cents, you know? So I just don't use them enough. So those types of things I'm probably gonna give to the school. Um, what else do I have? A lot of ribbon, a lot of ribbon and twine and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna try to do it this way or I might wind them around like um, a piece of cardstock or something, I don't know. So those videos are gonna be coming up soon. Um, I also need to do some I don't know, like some flip through, some just various videos, you know, for y'all. And I hope I can get those done soon. I really hope I can find that stoop, my stupid stuff from yesterday. That's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm using this. Oh, and I forgot to mention this right here, if it's not too glary, right quick before I go. Um, this right here is from Emmy Lou Arts. Uh, if you join her, her uh, YouTube channel, it's like a whole dollar a month or something um, that I can handle. So then you get access to her Facebook group and then she puts her little uh, procreate drawings, you know, on. And this is the January calendar. So soup, just super cute. And she has a bunch of other little printables that you can print out things that she's created. So they're, they are super, super adorable. So yeah, I've been, and here's the other thing I've been keeping up like I just come in here in the morning and journal about the day before and I can sit in here each of these pages has taken me about a half an hour I just pick whatever strikes my fancy from here stick it down and do my journaling and I'm done and it's made me very happy so again though I reserve the right like if if I don't feel like doing it one day I'm not gonna do it and then I'll just not have that page in the book but I'm not gonna leave it as a blank page I will like in other words let's say I didn't want to do Friday's page right like I just don't feel like it but I have this stuff for Saturday so I maybe I'll design Saturday over here and just completely forget about Friday you know I don't know if that makes sense or not, but at any rate, yeah. This book is going to probably hold more than two months, which I don't normally do, but this year is a, just different. It's just different. Um, yeah, so, so far it's been going along okay. Um, yeah, just using a small little pile that's on my desk. That's it. I'm, you know, and of course, you know, and my note cards. I have to save my note cards and you know make sure to use them because I just like using note cards or the notepad paper or whatever um and then back to the book itself I've been enjoying the book just in case you want to know this of course are those dabber dauber things in the background but see I glue so much stuff on the pages and around the pages that it doesn't really matter like None, you know, you can see shadowing and stuff, but then this is going to go on top. So you're not even going to notice it. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. So yeah, I've been enjoying the book a lot. I like the real estate of the page. I can use up a bunch of stuff. I can, you know, yeah, I just, I really like it. I'm using up stuff. So that makes me very happy. Um, I hope y'all are starting off the year with a bang and, um, you know, working in your journals and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So 
I think I will let you go. Yes, I've got to call grandma and then my husband and I are off for a haircut. Um, hopefully if the lady's there and I still have to find that other stuff that I had like, oh my gosh, I don't know what happened to it. I honestly do not know. Like I said it here with this stuff and now it's gone. It's like somebody came in the middle of the night and took my Wendy's bag. Who would do that? Who would do that? Anyway, okay, well, I will let you go. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and a great week ahead. And yeah, keep checking back. Keep checking back, um, you know, for more videos. Again, they're gonna be like distashing videos and all that kind of stuff. I have I feel really good about getting rid of a lot of this extra stuff that I have, like that I don't use, that I don't need. So yeah. It's, it's actually been very nice to do that. So, oh, I did to stash my pens too. So that's coming up. Um, anyway, okay. So I will bid you farewell. And I will thank you for watching again. And thank you for sharing your time with me. And I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.